This seems like altogether a terrible idea. Eh, no, we'll be fine. Be nice if there's some way of, like, avoiding falling damage somehow. Okay, so what's the deal with this place? It's covered in raiders. Oh, interesting. Like, covered in raiders. Wait. Huh. That's weird. Ooh, duct tape. Beer bottle? Yes. So... To be totally honest, this place kind of looks like a hotbed of suck. So let's not. See, I can fight ghouls. Dudes with guns? A little bit harder. Did they... They killed the guy with the power armor. Oh, and there's even a Mire Lurk over here. Glowing Mire Lurk. That's a new one. Didn't survive it. But still, okay. And like I said, I can fight ghouls. Guys with guns, a little bit harder. It'd be nice if there's like a riot shield or something you pick up in this game. That'd, that'd be sweet. Uh, let's take the rest of his armor off so I don't end up overburdened. So glad I figured that out. I don't know. It's just kind of a neat thing to have. Okay, uh, what do we got here? An arm with some stuff in it. Ah, another... Dude with power armor that I can loot for bits. Maybe I could actually take this place on. Problem is, I am a little bit overburdened with all all of my like loot that I've picked up over the past little area. Let's peer back into this and let's see what we've got here. Cause there's a ton of dudes in power armor. Too many dudes in power armor. This place goes on forever. I I th I think I, I think what I will do is for the for the frost playthrough, I'm just going to be like some kind of ghost sniper guy. I'm probably gonna just go with everything being like ultra vanilla. Not even think about it, but I think I'm just gonna go around murdering people. Not even like Indiscriminately. I don't know. I'll figure it out. The, the problem with all of these playthroughs is n none of them even touch the story even once. So the idea of doing another one of these challenges is weird to me. Because, like usual, like with almost every game you ever play, there's usually a start point, easy easy to work with, and an end point. Very rarely will you will somebody like sit down and just be like, Alright, I'm done with this game now. Literally nothing else for me to do. That is a ton of dogs. Was a ton of dogs. Okay, nine? There we go. Okay, grab that. A lot of corpses to loot around here. I'm also curious how many how many mods I'm gonna be able to drag into. Uh, my Frost playthrough. I know cosmetic mods will make it. Uh, I've got a specific wintry looking one that I'm super excited for. Because I like this, like, really overgrown look. Running through a battlefield covered and forged. And ghouls. Let's not do that. Oh, sweet. Somebody made a bridge here. I dig that. I do actually kind of hope that uh, the next Fallout game uh, takes the sandbox level even further. Like, I know a lot of people hate the sandbox, but for me, I think it's kind of cool. But I think it would be, like, ultra sweet if, like, every point of this game was covered in, like, sandbox elements. Like, for example, that bridge is out, but you could fix it if you wanted to. Or, like, um, you're getting attacked, but you could totally, like, put together a holdout uh, really fast. Um, okay. So you know how I was talking about wanting Radstag?
Found the Radstag. Found the ghouls. Except for the performance downs, this actually is working pretty damn well, comparatively. We're taking some hits, though. I might actually do the radiation gives me, um... The radiation healing me thing. Okay, who's shooting at me down here? Okay. He's dead. They're dead. Oh my god. Um. Fuck. That hurt. I think they're still shooting at me to some degree. I can't believe we lived through that. Okay. Well, we haven't lived through it yet. Let's do three. All we've got left is this guy, and then nothing but ghouls. And robots. I'm not sure where the robots came from, admittedly. I just want rad stags. The rest of this is meaningless to me. Ah. Okay, let's see. All of these have zero weight on them, yes? Yes. Love that. Alright, I don't think I can stick around much longer than this. Let's see, red stag. Metal armor of the safe cracker, I can carry that. Just a pile of ghouls here. What the fuck? Okay, I'm just gonna crouch and stealth. Maybe they'll forget about me in the confusion. Toy rocket ship. I want to loot all these guys before they go away. Yep, there they go. Alright, so there's some sucker that... Whose guts I hate. In this pile. I... Think we've kind of hit a nice happy medium for... For a number of enemies out here. Alright. No, you're not the one. One of these guys had, like, crazy thing. A crazy gun. And I want to find it. But I think we're out of luck. He was shooting at me, and then he was dead. Well, I'm gonna be able to make anything legendary after all this. Okay, think we're good. How the hell did I not die from any of this? Don't know. Huh. <laughs> uh, I guess leveling up helps a lot. I'm not even going to try for that. What's this guy have? Nothing useful. Ghouls. It's got ghouls. Yeah, these hang-ups are the, the worst part. I mean, they're not... intolerable. But they are quite annoying. Okay, luckily all of these ghouls are mostly just... Can I... Can I not take that? Okay, now I think I'm over encumbered. Yep, I am. Okay, I gotta have something in my inventory that's heavy that I can totally get rid of. I was hoping for, like, cage armor. I'll just... drop these. It looks like we're mostly picking up the... Uh-oh. We're mostly picking up... A bunch of, like, component stuff. Oh, that's okay. We got a couple of things. Okay, yeah. Ghouls almost never have anything to weigh anything. And if it does weigh anything, it's, like, minor. At best. What's this? Protectron Devil. Neat. Well, anyway. Things seem to be going poorly in... On the left here, Danny? Who is fighting here anyway? Swarm bots, junk bots, serve bots, oh. Well, that's a mess. I just saw a Radstag go flying out of the building. And it's covered in ghouls. Okay! Seems like a good time for me to book it. Very fast, this general direction. They were getting thirsty anyway, I'd like to go home. I'm actually gonna save. We haven't 
I haven't saved in a while. And Yaogwai, glowing Yaogwai. Stunlocked Yaogwai. It's the other Yaogwai that concerned me. Maybe if I'm lucky, I can just run circles around them. Oh, we might want to get something a little with a little bit more oomph than this one. Maybe. I don't know. Hard to tell. One, two. Skip to the bear. Okay, not dead yet. Hurt, but not dead yet. Alright, uh, I've leveled up a couple of times, yes? Yes. Okay, so for starters, let's get the ghoul thing. We're not, we're not going to go all the way down on ghoulish. But yeah, I don't want some random ghouls becoming friendly. Could be funny, but probably not. And steady aim. There we go. Okay, the charred feral ghouls are starting to find where I am. Nope, oh, and we got bugs. Bugs, 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 bugs. I don't fight bugs. It's not worth it. It's psychologically damaging to me. I think. Probably. I don't know. Kind of depends on perspective here. But it's... It's enough that I have next to no interest. Ooh, I'm dying! We're close to home, though. Hob flowers. Huh. Oh, my base really hasn't popped in yet. Huh. Where is my... Ah, here we go. Well, there aren't a whole lot of NPCs, probably. I'm just going to wait here while my, my house rematerializes around me. <laughs> oh, man. This is actually incredibly convenient. Usually, I have to, like, run for the door or something. But this time around, it's just like, nah, no biggie. Oh, that's convenience. Hammer time, wasteland garage. DIY ammo. I'm going to have a ton of ammo by the time I'm done with all of this. Alright, so let's store all junk and let's figure out what I've got. I got a ton of... I didn't want cams. I got a ton of armor and a ton of weapons that I want to get rid of. We're going to have to make some more guns. Okay, backpack workbench, junk workbench. Oh yeah, let's make some more backpacks. I think I have a couple of them. So... We don't have a bandolier. We got a belt. We don't have a survivor's vest. That should be fine. I don't know how well they they all stack, but if we're lucky, they all will. Oh, we even got some dog meat armor. All right. Uh, let's see. So there's the Adventurer's Bandolier. Ah! And Survivor's Vest. Which comes at the cost of my Bandolier. Let's take a look. Does it sh even show up on my character? Okay. Well, we had the Mercenary Belt carry capacity 30. What's the Survivor's Vest? I have no idea. And straps, strapsless. Let's see, let's see which offers me more uh, carrying capacity. So it looks like the survivor's vest actually is a decent amount. Let's take off my cage armor, see if I can see, see what it looks like. Or not, uh, spike armor. Wherever that is. There we go. Oh, there it is. Alright. Can I see it here? Oh yeah, I can. Eh, it works. I just end up with some extra pouches on the outside of my armor. I look like an absolute hodgepodge, but that's okay. I'm a hodgepodge that gets shit done. Okay. Let's craft. So I guess in this case, let's get rid of the bandolier and the belt. 
I can always remake them if I want to. Let's see. I'm not entirely sure if I want to just salvage all this stuff. But I'm not, like, I'm not hurting for money. Huh. Ooh. Ooh. I... I didn't realize I could do this. Hi highlights living targets. Yes. It looks like things are going bad outside. Do we want Stealth Boy or Acrobats? Let's do Acrobats. Don't even ask how this works. What is attacking my... Gunners. What is that? Don't know, one way or another there. Messing my stuff up. I need more turrets. Okay. They're attacking my house. How are my turrets doing? They're on fire. What the fuck? Where? Oh, hi. I'm directly on top of him. Alright, well he did not have a good day. Which should solve some problems. Okay. That's a grenade. What was that? Oh. Another gunner. This is why we need those wraparound goggles, in fact. Alright, let's see if we can find them. There we go. There we are. Oh yeah, digging this. There's another gunner conscript. Yep, there is. Okay. I'd swear there was one more there. But it could be wrong. Oh yeah, there he is. Unfortunately, it seems like my turrets aren't quite shooting at him. Legendary, yeah, it's the legendary gunner. Okay, you know what? Uh, I've picked up something real, he real heavy. Inventory, what did we pick up? Probably guns. Alright, so it's, what weighs the most? Combat sturdy armor. Yeah, we got a ton of junk on the ground. Or, we'll have a ton of junk on the ground by the time we're done with this. Yeah, I got a bunch of weapons, too. Okay, where's this guy and how is he totally bypassing my... Okay, you, sir. Whatever that gun of yours is a legitimate problem. Stay on the ground. There we go. Okay. So he had... A vaporizer. Right, oh, this thing is nuts. Don't think I'm gonna be using it. Knuckles of enraging. And a little bit of ammo. Okay. Oh, right. Question is some of this stuff is like really good in comparison to what I've got on. So I've mentioned I probably have enough stuff to make all of my things legendary. What I'm probably going to do is convert up all of the, all of the uh, the like better bits of armor and put them on instead. Well, uh, let's do this. Let's just transfer over some things. Okay, so obviously store all junk, though I probably don't have much. Let's store star things, maybe. I don't know. I guess I probably should. Yeah, let's let's store everything with a star on it, mainly because I can't even salvage those easily. We'll get rid of the tactical eyepiece, because now I got my goggles. There's your musket of the junkie, knuckles of enraging. Okay, so that puts me down a little bit. We've got a ton of guns here. Some are gonna be good, most are gonna be bad. 
Okay, we've still got a ton of equipment here. Ah, oh, right. So I'm going to put on everything that is better than what I have. And then we're going to, uh... We're going to go on an upgrading spree. Let's see. So I'm not going to bother with uh, helmets, because I don't like them. Okay, there we go. Let's go back here. I probably have some equipment that I haven't... What? Wait, really? All of the uh, equipment I replaced was not... Um, huh. Was the... It was the variety... Okay, that's weird. Okay, so we got that taken care of. Let's go to the armor workbench for the time being. I'm probably not going to mess up, mess with these in any way, shape, or form. Like lining, whatever. Nah. So let's just start scrapping the uh, military fatigues. Flannel shirt and jeans, raider leathers. Okay, so this is mine. We've got lining. Do we want dense radiation damage? Look like most of these are helpful apart from... I mean, reducing damage from uh, explosions might not be a bad idea. Or we could do shielded lining. Let's just do shielded lining. Weighted ultralight. Okay, here we go. I wonder if I have multiple of these, if I can totally ignore things. Otherwise, we can do, um... Wait, didn't I do Ultra Light Build? Holy crap, this thing is heavy to begin with. Oh, is it because of weighted? Kind of is. And the... Oh, and the light lining. I was wondering. Okay, well, it's fine. We have a lot of carrying capacity here. Okay. I think I'm going to go Stealth Boy on this one. I want to be sneaky. Okay, so that's probably going to get replaced. Let, let's focus on the uh, on the new equipment that we're wearing. I do have... Where's all my combat armor? Or did we store it like an idiot? Yeah, I stored it like an idiot. I was wondering about that, and it's like... Feels like I'm missing something here. And there's our answer. Reduce damage from humans. Kind of tempting. Since sturdy armor of... Eh, I think we'll be fine. Okay. Alright, so we want to do... Inventory... Peril. Okay. Damage. So we've got the combat tough armor. Combat tough armor. Combat tough armor. Carrying too much. Can't run. Understandable. Okay, so it doesn't look like I've got any other upgrades that I can necessarily put on except for... Yeah. What do I look like right now? A little goofy. I was kind of hoping they were the black wraparounds, but instead I just look like some kind of... Angry post apocalyptic Adam Jensen, which I guess has his benefits. Oh, I'm in combat. Uh, what are they fighting out there? I think it's ghouls. Just realized I left the door open. See if we can trade with dog meat here. I I did pick up a couple of dog meat related paraphernalia. Heavy dog armor, dog collar. Oh. I guess there we go. Hmm. Do I have like a red bandana? I think I have a red bandana. I guess we got a skull bandana. I guess that'll do. Alright. So, is it... It's just ghouls. 
Okay. Too many ghouls. Let's uh let's go structures. I need I need some extra I need some extra firepower on the outside of this place. Institute, floors and stairs. What about the little ones, which are actually under miscellaneous, aren't they? Okay, institute balcony floor, balcony floor, okay. Gonna just put that there. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna do two guns on every corner at the very least. For the time being. Might not be a bad idea to start getting the, um... Like the missile turrets and the heavy laser turrets and stuff. Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna need some power though. Let's do generators. What is something comically over large here? We've got small fusion, large industrial. Surprisingly, the small fusion one, not actually that good. Okay, uh, DLC, Vault Tech Workshop, Power, Lights? Miscellaneous. What about generators? Huh. Uh, are you serious? I think I do have to get the all DLC patch just to be able to get these things. This is stupid. Yeah, so I, I literally don't have any of the... Um, I don't have any of the really good generators that I'd like. I mean, we can get this monstrosity and just make it huge, uh, tiny. Tempting. What else do we got? We got these, like, solar panels that are kind of cute. Let's do that. Feels appropriate. Okay, I'm just gonna put this over here. Oh, yeah. Well, we might as well put up the solar panels first. In every corner. I don't know where I'm gonna put these. Uh, I'm just... Probably gonna have regular guns there. Okay. So I'm gonna store these for a second. We are gonna put in heavy laser turrets. Because it seems like they know what they're doing. Be hilarious if I die of over encumbrance here. Okay, there we go. So now we've got some crazy laser guns. That should make this real fun. Alright, we're gonna just store these. I don't want to store it. I just want to attach these. Not perfect, I need to put some more platforms on. And I don't have enough for the last. Okay, so we can do missile turret, spotlight, shotgun turret. Let's do shotgun turret, I think. Alright. So I've got crazy turrets all over the place now. Hopefully this will solve the, uh, the ghoul problem that we seem to be having here. I should probably close this door so they stop coming after me. Because I think that's part of the reason why they're so aggressive around here. Because they actually have a path to the character. Like to take a nap. Oh, hey. I think we're out of combat. Sweet. Yeah, maybe all I did need to do was close that door. Well, let's uh, salvage some guns for a second. Or wait for us to get out of combat again. Man, I'm not even in combat. I think. I'm not entirely sure. I guess there's a, there's a small army of ghouls outside. I'm not in combat. Oh yeah, I'm not. Okay, there we go. 
Okay, so we got things like the crossbow. Definitely don't care about crossbows. Hunting rifles, anything with the name pipe attached to it can go away. Combat rifle. I'm really only interested in the, um, in the crazy weapons. Like the frag rifle. I don't even know what that does. Vaporizer. Got a bunch of knuckles that I can get rid of. Couple of machetes. Let's see, pipe wrench. Heavy plasma rifle. Be interesting, but I'm not interested. I haven't been killing a whole lot of humans here. I'm actually going to keep one of the missile launchers. There's a couple of things I want to try with that. Okay. Okay. Immolator rifle and the frag rifle are the ones that I'm particularly interested in. And a flamer. I'm kind of curious what I can do with that. Laser pistol I can get rid of. Okay. That should clear out a little bit of inventory for me. Are we still in combat? I guess we are. Am I still encumbered? No, I'm not. I guess I'm just waiting for my legs to heal. There we go. That's good. Alright. If I go stealth, maybe they'll leave me alone. Either that or we'll have to figure out other things to do here. I might also have to hang my turrets off the walls. Yeah, because we are currently covered in zombies. And that's kind of inconvenient for me. There we go. Because it would be nice if I didn't have to think about these things. Okay, this isn't really what we're working on. Let's get rid of this platform. Move you here. Move you down. Yeah, that actually seems reasonable. If I get rid of these... We should be able to have, like, this awkward situation. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this way they'll be able to shoot directly below them, and hopefully we won't be considered in combat anymore. Weirdly enough, can't make dome turrets. Kind of wish I could. Dome turrets would be handy. But for some reason, kind of a no-go situation. It's weird. Alright, uh, so we're taking care of that. So... Yeah, it'll probably figure itself out. We might also just make some angry robots to solve the... Oh, am I totally invisible in here? I am. It's interesting. I wonder what the exact point of all of that is. Let's see. So what do we want to do next? So, I mean, obviously we have a bit of a problem with um, possibly an infection, which I'm going to have to take care of. Okay, stat, show effects. What's up with me? I'm peckish, severely de- Oh, that's why. And we're fatigued. Apparently I can't do what I want to do because... I guess I'm in combat, but yeah, apparently I'm super dehydrated. Ah, from all the stim packs I took. Okay, there we go. I'm kind of... Okay, I'm still drinking even though I cannot use this in combat, question mark. I don't know, whatever. Okay. We'll be fine. And let's grab some more potatoes here. Really should actually farm some melons. I guess I have the ability to. It's just slightly inconvenient, given the way that they're 
they're shaped. Oh well, food, melons. I do have like three that I can plant, right? Yes. Okay, I'm just gonna have melons along the side here. If I if I just plant extra, if I plant melons, this will solve our our food and hydration issue. Five five melons is probably enough. Could probably do more than that, but still. Yeah, so I guess because I got the stealth boy armor, I'm totally invisible, and they're inside my house. Were inside my house. I need to figure out a better place of putting all of my benches. Ow, what? Didn't realize he was actually inside of her base. Oh, well, that's inconvenient. At least we're getting resources. Yeah, the other consideration I could do is actually make it so ghouls only spawn at night. That would also solve the problem. I'm not sure. Because, yeah, I would like to be able to get some stuff done. Maybe I just... I mean, I can always turn off zombies. We don't necessarily need to leave it on at all times. Uh, let's see. Remove all spawned actors. There we go. Now we'll get some stuff done. Okay. So you're gonna do weapons workbench. See, Mjolnir can't be can't be modified. So we got our old ten millimeter, which is never ending. It's not a bad idea. We got a missile launcher. We got a flamer. Oh, let's start. Let's start with the never ending pistol. Oh, uh, any mod, any weapon is. Currently not working. Or is it? There's like conversion and stuff, which is weird. Some <laughs> of these are insane. Like, the little man just fires tiny little fat man. Fat men, I guess. Or Tesla arc. Yeah, so I guess instead of any mod, any weapon now, it's that? Odd. Makes sense, but it's a little bit less interesting. I'm kind of disappointed, really. <laughs> 